Uh, he's looked great. You know, Mitch is a guy that in the past has always had the skill set that's never been in question. I mean, he's clearly the, the leader of this team. Everybody looks up to him. He's formed a good chemistry with all of his wide receivers. And so I think he's ready to kind of explode, uh, kind of build upon what he showed us in, in limited action last year. Deep shot for Mac Hollins. Catches it. And Carolina's big strike hits again. Mitch doesn't have to have an all-world season for North Carolina's offense to be as good, if not better, than last year. But he's got to be efficient, he's got to make good decisions, and he's got to be a good leader. And so I think we can see that in the first couple of weeks. But, but how he plays against Georgia will tell us a lot. This is a prime time setting. It's against an SEC opponent. And if North Carolina wins this game, then I think they quickly become uh, one of those teams that's in the conversation uh, for the college football playoff. And so a lot of pressure on his shoulders. But if you look at what he did last year, I mean, he completed 85% of his passes, threw six touchdowns without any interceptions. So he's proven that he can step in in pressure situations and perform. He's just got to be able to do that uh, in a prime time situation where he's the guy and not a guy coming off the bench.